Welcome back to VPC Kids and Families. This is our sixth episode of Sunday School on the Go. Thanks for joining us. Let's get started. I got my adventure Bible out for today's journey and scripture reading, which comes from Matthew, chapter 9, verse 35, through chapter 10, verse 8. The workers are few. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them. Because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Jesus sends out the twelve. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. What is a disciple? A disciple is a follower of Jesus. When we make a decision to follow Jesus, we don't automatically know everything we need to know. Part of the way that we learn is from our parents at home or our church family, or our Sunday school teachers. This is called discipleship. We want to teach you about Jesus and how he instructs us to live with kindness and compassion. We do this through reading our Bible or Bible stories together, watching Sunday School on the go, and talking about what we read and what we see. We pray together and we worship together as a family. When we do these things regularly, we grow in Jesus and better know how to show his love to others. Our Adventure Bible tells us that Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. The scripture we read goes on to talk about when Jesus sent his disciples out, he said, Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff, for the worker is worth his keep. Check out this game that will help you remember that you don't need anything to go out to share God's love. The Holy Spirit is with you always. All right, it's family game night, family. Yes. Yes, but now we're gonna play a new game, right? Yes. About a journey. Now, Evangeline is gonna start, and she's gonna say, I'm going on a journey, and then name something that she's not going to take, not taking with her. And then when Daddy goes, he's going to name what she's not taking and then something else. And then you're going to have to name both of them. 
And that they knew. All right, you ready? Evangeline. It is. Oh. You start. <laughs> I'm going on a journey and I won't take money. Okay. I'm going on a journey and I won't take money or lipstick. Oh. I'm going on a journey and I won't take money, lipstick, or candy. I'm going on a journey and I won't take money, lipstick, candy, or a backpack. Patty, say. I won't take money and I won't take candy. I won't take candy and I won't take a backpack. Or what else? And I won't take a toy! A toy, no toys. Well, did you know that in our <laughs> in our true story, in our true story from the Bible today, Jesus told his disciples that they didn't need any of these things to go out and share the good news with people. So you know that? They didn't need any of it. All they needed was to speak about Jesus and tell people about Jesus and trust that God would look after them. Pretty cool. I feel like if I had to do that, I'd flounder. <laughs> Mom, what are you again? Disciples were ordinary people, just like you and me. They were learning, and Jesus taught them to preach and to teach others. And they learned how to be like Jesus by being with him and watching what he did. My friends, we have been sent. Now go out and love the world. speaks all the time we can hear him if we try are you listening oh are you listening god leads every day he doesn't stop or change will you follow oh will you follow there's a start and finish line i'm going such a time as this I wanna be like the 12 disciples 